Spoiler alert, baby. Look ee- out. Ee- Stay Trashy Tour is about to kick into full swing, gang. We're adding cities. We're adding shows. Uh-huh. Tickets are going quick. Come out and see us. A little live stand-up comedy. Plus, we pay AYG with the crowd. It's a good, good time. Come and hang with the boys. Yeah, baby. In March, we're knocking out Baltimore, Virginia Beach, Woo! Richmond, Virginia, Oklahoma City, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas. Second show added. Mm-hmm. New Haven, Connecticut. There's about two tree tickets left if they're even available Let's anymore. Go. We got Burlington, Vermont. Tampa, second show out at first, so showed out Dania Beach, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina, Louisville, Kentucky, just added, Cleveland and Columbus, get those tickets, more cities coming soon, let's party. Let's do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to <laughs> everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grit to be classy. Yeah. They're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs sound asleep yet. I don't know how she sleeps through all that goddamn construction going on up there. <laughs> what is she doing out back? I don't know. There was a pool guy here. There was a hot tub guy here. I don't know what's I was happening. just Last night. <laughs> I think she was knocking boots. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I heard the jackhammer she, going in the middle of the night. <laughs> that was Yikes. Tony. She's doing something up there. I don't know what the fuck's going Man, on. Man, I have you heard she's, anything about what the settlement was? What the she's real, real tight lipped about it. She's been very tight lipped about it. Uh, I can tell you whatever she's doing, she didn't pull permits and it ain't up to go. Man. That thing looks shoddy craftsmanship up there. The city is going crazy. <laughs> Trying to figure out. L&I is going to come and shut her down. You might have the Eagles playing there next year. Who knows? <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. Has us in financial ruin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's just Tony's fault. <laughs> Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. What's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... Tritter up. Cooking. Cooking. And then obviously the greatest gosh darn website of all time. Shout out to Al Gore for inventing the internet. It is www.patreon.com slash RU Garbage. You sign up over there. You get episodes, uh, bonus episodes of AYG. You get episodes of Hard Feeling, which is, I got to be honest with you, the fucking money maker. <laughs> okay, geez, huh? A couple of whales. Hey, on you're there. real radio in this. <laughs> 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 Extra shot in the coffee this morning, kid, huh? This kid's on drugs. <laughs> Don't forget Jingle Bell concert this <laughs> Get your tickets now. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be up at Jack Frost Big Boulder. <laughs> oh, shout out to it. Uh, yeah, check it out. It's a lot of fun over there. A lot of We're doing a lot of shit. Yeah, we're having yeah. a good time over there on the Patreon gang. Come on board. Have fun with us. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, works the twos, crosses the T's, tots the I's, and he's got that big old wee-wee. Uh-huh. T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? Literally forgot your name for a second there. Uh-huh. Not going to lie. Ah, uh, one of my closest friends. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Work hard. Your dreams come true. Jack Frost, Big Boulder. Yeah. That's a throwback. Sure. Because I could not. Was, that, that might as well have been Mars to me. <laughs> that might as well have been Aspen. Dude. So Jack, for the, for the non-regional uh, guy uh, and gal, Jack Frost, Big Boulder is the... P- Philadelphia Poconos. It's like the dirt bags chateau. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you go up, you get a hot tub, and you make bad decisions. <laughs> you, you tear an ACL and you get pregnant. That's what happens. That's what happens up there in the Stepped in the on a bag of Coke and some fresh powder. <laughs> snow machines they use up there. They use snow machines everywhere, though. Do they? Except like the fucking, you know, the, the real good spots. But huh. yeah, they have to make snow. Dude, yeah. fall in There's no way snow. It, it, it snows like four feet. A nice ski trip would be awesome for the boys. That'd be a fun little retreat. Yeah. I don't know. I got hurt when I back was like, I'm a lodge man from here on out. What do you mean? Nice hot toddy. Yeah. You know, making a run at some dame at the <laughs> corner of the bar. Hopefully it's my wife. Dude, falling in fake snow is like catching a bleach snow cone, dude. It's just so gross in your mouth all uh, chemically. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not great. Is it? that what it is? I thought it was just water and air. I don't know what it is. It's chemically. Yeah, well, it has to be, it has to be able to freeze above... Freezing temperatures. Oh shit! I thought no, they, they just... can only make snow when it's freezing. 
that has to be cold enough to make. They can't just make it in. It's not snow you would see in L.A. You were doing meth, dude. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's it's not you. movie set snow. <laughs> they take a hose and like spray it real thin. So it instantly freezes. When Bunch it's of cold instant enough. mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Skiing like a dirt bag. Over there eating cotton balls. Uh, I saw you pull a move um, right before we recorded. Now, I understand you were jammed up, Toby. Um, but it got me thinking because I think you might do this. Oh, boy. The deodorant, it gets applied before you put your shirt on, right? On After. a regular. Okay. That is. That's weird, man. We've we've talked about this a little bit, I think. I don't know. That's man. I, you don't. You're not. You did that because you were. You forgot to put deodorant on. I didn't have the. I ran out of the stuff that I like at the crib, and I have to keep an extra set in here just in case. But you would normally put it on before you put your shirt on. Absolutely not. After shirt, post shirt. Yeah. I, wh- what? What it's am so, I? Because it gets on your shirt, and that happens to you, and you don't see it. You have deodorant stains on your shirt we, a lot. We might have talked about that. That's still crazy. I get that it's crazy, but you look even trashy. You're walking around with white stains all over your fucking shirt like a goober. Can't land any broads like that. Fucking got right guard all over your sides. <laughs> nah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. It, it, it started out of necessity of not having clothes. To then change into because mm-hmm. in the morning you're in a rush, you're getting dressed, you put your deodorant on and you get all jammed up on the sides. I don't think so. I know so. I, I mean, th- dude, the last time we had this conversation, you literally had deodorant stains on the side of your shirt. That's impossible because I didn't start using white deodorant until it doesn't matter. The, the oil still it gets wet. See, you can see it on your shirt. I use the blue stuff, the old spice blue. Yeah. Yeah. I get alcohol stuff. burns from that. You'd- yeah. Yeah. It's like a goddamn chemical fire in there. It's like Fight Club. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you catch a thin batch of that stuff. It's light on the deodorant, heavy on the alcohol. I've scratched myself oh, with these. a couple of screaming me. Yikes. I'm, I'm trying to sit here and fucking do a show. I got screaming pit. <laughs> Feels like you got shot. Uh-huh. I hate that burning no, feeling. No, I'm strictly uh, Dove or Victoria's Secret. All Baby right. powder base. Victoria's Secret. No, not Victoria's <laughs> Secret. <laughs> I got a thong on. <laughs> not Victoria's Secret. It's like a what's leather the, and lace over here. What's the broad deodorant? <laughs> secret. Secret. Yeah. <laughs> Kippy's secret. <laughs> Kippy's old secret. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, this is chicken sandwich just between us. Huh? Kippy's got a butt plug in. <laughs> Strap it on a bee cup bra. Look at your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, I'll smell like shit if I don't. <laughs> Now pass me my G-string. Bring a couple of tampons with me. <laughs> Man, I've been calling that stuff Victoria's <coughs> Secret for quite some time. It's just secret. I've been asking in the pharmacy. <laughs> 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 hey, you guys got a, you got a back section with a beaded door I can go shopping? <sighs> ah. Good stuff. Yeah, no, I go after. It's, it's strictly preventative. It's not ideal, but I, I've ruined too many mornings leaving the house, and I have fucking, I have, I have deodorants. Now that you mentioned it, I think we have discussed this, and yeah, I just, I, I, I thought about it this morning, because I remember seeing you do that a lot. Uh-huh. Surprised, I'm surprised at you, Toby. I think, officially, put it out there, I think most people would put it on before. I understand they, that is the process. <clears throat> yeah. I, it's, it's more of, <clears throat> I just, I ju- I think birds might do it uh, after. I For that know. reason, you're talking it about just, yeah. It just it just gets on my shirts. It's just more of a pre- preventative. Chicks I wouldn't call it garbage. Chicks sometimes really coat that on. Oh, dude, you, I I get heavy. You do. I run through fucking deodorant sticks. Man, that's the one thing I had. It was it was what? Ne- I never liked gambling too much. I never got any acne. I didn't really have a lot of hair, and I never really had bo. Yeah, I don't have B- I don't. It's not a problem. It's just more of like a. While I'm there, I'm like, let's get a good base on here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm doing the job, let's do it. So, you know, sometimes we're out late. Or if we leave at fucking 9 a.m., I'm not going to get home tonight until fucking goddamn 10 Mm o'clock. That's a 14-hour day. Or someone do the math. Mm -hmm. That's a long day. You got to be able to, you know, the clock's ticking. I got to stay fresh. I hear you. What if I end up at a happy hour or something or a fucking... You know, a nightcap somewhere. I gotta be fresh. <laughs> Somebody set you up. <laughs> Straight from the office to happy hour, ladies. Gang, this is a family episode. <laughs> and apparently the emergency break works. <laughs>
<laughs> Ooh, caught a fire department. We <laughs> cool this down a little bit. Uh, I got so I got a little something I want to talk to you. It's trashy to me, and I won't do it. It's causing a big riff in the family. Yeah, at the moment in the family. Well, me and my wife. Okay, Hansi's on the fence about it. I'm still waiting to hear back. Uh, she's been going and looking at okay houses to buy. Uh huh. Not to buy, just to go. Yeah. Uh, that we like proper cannot afford. She goes herself. Yeah, I like that. So, oh. what do you think we spend all of your money? <laughs> I see the Patreon. Uh, it's a it's a thing of like I'd be so embarrassed if they were like, oh, are you thinking about making? I couldn't lie. I assumed that you couldn't just when when I was a kid. I because we used to do that shit. We used to do that as a family, and the me and open my houses. Me and my boys would do that too. My, my, my I mean, there's no way that the realtor thought you and your boys were. Coming no, no, no. We would we wouldn't go in, but me and my boys in high school would smoke up. We'd hop in the station wagon, my buddy Charlie's mom's white station wagon, wagon. called it the Millennium Falcon, and we'd roll around. Couple lady killers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you see, no, my light cheaper. <laughs> Yo, you you birds like swag. <laughs> You got to see it in your back. It faces out the window. Yeah. It looks like you're thrown it into hyperspeed. Yeah. Wow. I have my super soaker. Super soaker on me. Oh, man. <laughs> We're all thumbs today. Um, but we'd roll around on a Saturday and just go look at the nice neighborhoods around our Sure. Area. That's one thing. You're fucking high. That's different. This is a f- <laughs> you're, you're high driving around with nowhere to go. You can't go back to your house. You're fucking, <laughs> you'll get clipped. Yeah, you know no. what I mean? But I do remember my parents as a kid. We would just like on a Saturday, let's go see what's out there that we can't afford. Yeah, that's crazy. And go me. and go in and walk around. But I assume I have too much. I would feel like they would start asking questions, and I would lie. I don't think I could. Go I thought in. they did a credit check. That's what I still think. They like, do. can we just go? Like, say we were out in L.A. Sure. All right, we're out in L.A. doing something. Uh huh. Could we just go and look at an open? Uh, she's setting appointments. Okay. She's not. This isn't an open house where they're like, "Hey, anybody come if you live in the neighborhood from one to four. Mm-hmm. She has this woman driving her around to see apartments. Driving her around. She's on the Upper West Side, just wasting people's time. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Lady's got kids to feed. I know, dude. Right. She's showing her everything from apartments that are like two hundred thousand dollars to apartments that are like two point seven. That's million. like something out I'm of. Like, there's no way she thinks you're buying. Who looks at a fucking studio apartment than a four bedroom high rise? What are we doing here? I'm like, this broad's all over us. She's looking at commercial space. <laughs> <laughs> I got a supermarket down in the village. <laughs> ah, that's fucked up. That's like something that the lady did in Fight Club, just <laughs> pretending to fucking be whatever, going uh, around. No, she, uh, no, gave, so the woman knows. Gave me nothing on that, Toby, thanks. <laughs> Toby's real fun. Toby's looked playing o- the ice box. Looked over and saw your dead eyes. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I smiled like at a, you. Like a Toby's eyes. <laughs> Yo, this guy's not even laughing at my flubs. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't laugh at that joke I said improperly. Piece of shit. Um, wow, that's... Uh, no, but the woman is... The woman's also kind of taking the lead. I, I can't throw the whole thing on. She was like, oh, we also have these and these and these and these. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take a look. She's getting in the car? Yeah. Oof. Man. She said it was a rough car, too. I'm it was, sure. It wasn't like you didn't yeah, like. Yeah, stop wasting this lady's time. No, she was like, I can also show you the, like. It's, she's, she's desperate. <laughs> she Probably has no friends. She, she should have qualified the lead. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fuck, you're driving, you're driving around somebody you can't buy. But so you're telling me that if there's an open house in, like, the Hollywood Hills, we could just go. Yeah, and yeah, go. I think people in L.A. do that. Maybe catch one I'd of those. I've been in movies. Like, they go just for, like, they put out, like, food and stuff. Really? Yeah, like, I think a lot of, like, you know, bad comics or actors, like, walk around and, like, they play, like, a different character, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, what? just for, like, fun, like, shits and giggles. Oh, okay. They go in, like, they're fucking Theodore fucking, oh, you know. Oh, Van Nostren. Yes. Dr. Maybe Van catch Nostren. one of those girls from uh, Selling Sunset. You ever see that show? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. That's a race. So what do you think? going to buy? No, I just want to take a dump in a really yeah. nice bathroom. <laughs> I'm just going to take a shower. <laughs> I hit the sauna real quick. I like quick. a little leg room, you know? Got some people coming over in about a half an hour. <laughs> You're in the pool. <laughs> I got to test it out. Get in the pool. 
<laughs> Jumping off the roof and shit. <coughs> yeah. All right. Um, but like as the big man said, this is a gosh darn family episode. We'll re-answer. When it you is. Up, when you sign up for Patreon, uh, you get to answer your garbage. We'll get to, you'll get to ask your garbage question. We'll answer it on the air. It's just the best way to do it. We got a lot of submissions, the IGs, the emails, the blah, 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 but Patreon gets first crack at it. Just the squad. Just the boys. The homies. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. This one's from Bucky five six five twenty dollar homie since twenty twenty one. Hachi machi. Hey, big spender. Talk about getting on the ground floor. I haven't had one read. Is it garbage to own anything cheetah print? Cheetah print is a garbage zone. Anything cheetah print. I think you would be hard pressed to find anything classy that is cheetah print. For a minute, though, that was cool, right? Weren't the birds I... wearing leopard stuff? I think, like, kind of ironically, a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think you'd show up to, like, a wedding in a leopard and a cheetah dress. Like, no. I think, like, you're going out if you had, like. Wait, are you sure about that? I think so. I, I don't. I thought that was popular. I mean, if you saw a girl roll into a wedding in a cheetah print, everybody would think she's a hooker. <laughs> or Shania Twain. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Miss Twain is the only one that can pull it off. Either way, I'm taking a swing. <laughs> Lady. That's all that tells me. I can tell you what the trashiest cheetah print thing is. What? The seatbelt <laughs> pad. Oh, that's tough. That's what I'm Who saying. Who is that? Whores. <laughs> <laughs> Hookies. Tugboats. Uh, what are you making moves on Uber drivers? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's always like, it's you know, slutty type clothing that you would see traditionally like in movies or whatever. How about accessories like a handbag or whatever? A handbag, sure, if done. I mean, is there like Coach Leopard print? Otherwise, I think it would be trashy. Is that what you? Is that what you graded on, Coach? Huh? I don't I mean I don't know anything. Look at you. <laughs> That's my favorite TV show in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get money for that? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about diversifying. This guy's got his own handbag line. <laughs> Shout out to Craig T. Huh? Breaking in the quiche. Um, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else is leopard print that would be classy. It would have to be something that you could wear. I mean, dude, if we were going out to dinner and you're, if me and my wife and you and your girl, and you showed up in like a spandex fucking cheetah, you'd be like, what are you doing? Get, you know, Peggy Bundy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, okay. You know what it's I mean? Adding it's, up. it's never anybody fast. No. What's it gets the, my trip. Yeah. <laughs> it, sure. It's always one of those things. I think it's one of those things that trashy people think is classy. Hmm. You know what I mean? All right. That's that's where I would fall on it. I don't think there's any acceptable animal prints except maybe snakeskin boots. I'll give you that. You got to be like an oil tycoon, too. You got to have a Cadillac to go with those. Yeah. Zebra's pretty sweet. I guess certain way, like a raw, I don't know. Didn't, wasn't, didn't somebody just show up wearing a lion head somewhere? One of the, one of those celebrities? That was the Lion King. Uh... Uh, one of the Kardashian ladies. She had like a huge lion head. I don't think you can do oh, that. Might have been at the Met Gala or whatever that thing is where, they get, where all those rich people dress They'd up. They'd be shunned wearing an actual lion head, right? I don't think you can wear. I don't think popular culture in Hollywood could wear. That would be a PR nightmare. For Furs them. out, right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would have Fair to enough. assume. It's trashy. Um, all right, let's see here. I don't, this is from Andrew, uh, $10 first time, long time, $10 homie here. I don't know if we've ever talked, I think we've mentioned it, but I don't know if we've ever given a rule, and is cutting the top of the chip bag so it's easier to eat the big bags deeper, trashy or not? Cutting? Like, you get halfway down a bag of ruffles, a big bag of ruffles, uh -huh. and you cut it. I think that is classy. Then you have a, you have a clip. You have a clip. I think you would clip either way. I'll say or my, a real tight roll. My only thing with Trader Joe's is they don't have the resealable sometime on their things. Because they make these uh, chickpea and like pea like rings. Okay. They're like Funyuns. They're so good. But there's no resealable. Once you get in, once it's open. Yeah. It's game over. You got to put it away. Yeah, but what, uh, I don't know. I don't. I think I, to me, that's trashy. That's like taking the. I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't. You're damaging the. You're damaging the product. Yeah. It just seems. It's like toothpaste. Well, obviously, the classiest thing you could do is put it in a bowl. What? The what? chips. For who? Then you're then then you got to no, eat the I'm whole thing. 
yeah, no. This is to store it back. I'll tell you what is trashy. If you open up a bag of Doritos, a regular bag of Doritos. Finding those in a Ziploc ha- bag in the in the pantry at somebody's house? No, thank you. Oh, no. That and cereal and the Tupperware? I think my sister does that. Yikes. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? I need to know how, <laughs> how long these kicks been in here. Yeah, no. Yeah. That shit's fucking whack. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not eat. I don't eat. I don't eat breakfast yeah. at her place unless it's a couple of scream. <laughs> this ain't no sitcom, honey. <laughs> that's Put that nuts, shit away. Dude. That I never. That just seems like work. More work than anything. Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, I want everything in the bag or box that it was designed to come in. I that's agree. how I feel. Otherwise, I feel it's like somebody's been rubbing their grubby <laughs> fingers through it. I need something fresh, untouched. You know what I mean? Because you know they definitely drugged their hand to get it into sure. the bag or the box. But a whatever. bag of chips, you slice it, you put, you you fold it once, put the clip on. That's all right. I don't know. Okay, let's talk about that Adam and Eve. Ooh-wee. Let's talk about getting weird. Knock, knock. Who's there? My boner. Let's go. <laughs> right this way to my butthole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gang, do yourself a favor. Spice things up. Yeah. Have a good time Get with your weird. partner. Have a good time with yourself. Uh-huh. Save a little cash on dinner in the movies, meeting her girlfriends, when you can get a little dildo and go home and stick it right up your butthole. Uh-huh, sure. Right? What are we doing here? Sure. Let's go. This is a goddamn family program, big feller. Uh, if you go to Adam and Eve. How do you think those kids got there? Adam and Eve. <laughs> kicking things off. A little appetizer. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering our listeners 50% off just about any item plus Whoa. free shipping and rush processing. Because if you're hard, you got to get it quick. <laughs> Can't Get- be waiting six to eight weeks for delivery. <laughs> I got a hard on now. It's my boner and I got to come. Let's go. Uh, no matter how much you spend or what you buy, everything will be packaged and sent discreetly. Thank you very much, Adam and Eve. Mm-hmm. Fast and for free. I want the undiscreet package. Let them know. <laughs> Let them know. Let them know we're open for business. This is from Sibby in USA. <laughs> Uh, go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, and use code GARBAGE. There's an exclusive offer, to, so be sure to support the show and use code GARBAGE to get 50% off free shipping yeah. and rush processing. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Send some Yo. pics. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the Patreon. Peace. I'm kidding. Back to the show. <laughs> They should start I, making for me. They should start making those salsa tins wider too. By the way, just a heads up to you, salsa people out there. I've never agreed with anything you've said more. It's crazy. Make a fucking make. Get, I, what are we doing? It's because already pretty wide though. No, as not, not as for those George, restaurant style chips. Well, they're that's cranking the chips out. problem. That ain't toast. That ain't fucking. That ain't the good folks that. Uh, yeah. Well, first of all, Tostitos has their own line of uh, uh, dips. I, the con queso, the artichoke dip, sure, or the spinach right. dip, man, that and the salsa. Queso. Dude, come on, man. You get it all over your hands and shit. They need to take a cue from the people at Big Hummus. Those guys are putting out perfect man, dippable that's things. Not bad. Those guys are putting out perfect. You can get two hands. You, you, and, you and a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking full bore kicking. Sober, that's like a hot tub. Every We get four or five people in there. Wow. Yeah, man. That's the way, dude. You can, you can, you can literally clean one of those things where you could put it back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fill it with cereal. Everything. Uh. Okay. Whoa. Good call. They have the film on it though, which nobody ever throws. Nobody ever completely rips off. That'll jam you up too. When that thing latches back and hits your hands like a Venus flytrap. <laughs> Hate that. Fucking hummus on your knuckles. Ugh. Yeah. All right. But here, here there's got to be a reason why that, and it's got to be. The shelf life of hummus is way shorter. That's not a super airtight. That's like that is flimsy plastic. You, yeah. I think you need for con queso or salsa. You need it's a, gonna be hanging around for a while. You need a jar. All right, so a make a glass jar that's oval. That doesn't. You can't spin an oval. Oh yeah. <laughs> and also, there's no way he'd be able to grip. Nobody would have the hand strength to open up a, a sabra size fucking Wait, jar. What about Nutella? They make it work. That's plastic. Yeah. They've also you can't get to the bottom of Nutella without getting. You really in your can't. Knuckles. You know what? You really can't. Also, you're not going to be able to fit a chip in fucking Nutella like a restaurant style chip. Sure. That's similar size. Sure. I've definitely done that though. I've definitely used tortilla chips in Nutella. I don't know what that you salty and sweet. Yeah, you, there's not really anything you can't fucking dunk in Nutella. 
Uh, Realist, I mean, you can't like put like Korean barbecue. So in there. are people out there? Maybe we're obviously we're on the you know we we land more animalistic when it comes to uh, things. Sure, trashy. Uh huh. Are people filling up like little cups of cheese and salsa then to, like you know bowls then to dip? The only time I think I don't think my mom's dipping in the salsa jar. No, my mom's definitely putting in a little. That's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah, I think my mom. The would only do time the same we do that if there's a if there's a dollop of cream cheese in the middle of that. That's when that's when we'll do it. Do you think my your house. mom's dunking in the jar? She doesn't fuck salsa. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, no. Let's keep it north of the border. <laughs> yeah, thugs. nah, she ain't doing salsa. Okay, all right. That... Plain, plain ruffles in the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. 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 What 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 are her chips? <laughs> yeah, uh, what is what is what is Patty snacking on? Besides a couple of more beezies. <laughs> There's like carrots and celery in there. Uh-huh. There's those little pepperonis. Okay, well, she wait, does the Hormels. Yeah, she, your mom's your mom's cracking out Hormel. Heavy Whoa, bite. Kippy, easy. She eats them with chopstick though. So it's <laughs> nice. Stay international. Um, she does that. She, you know what she's a huge fan of? Let me guess. Chocolate Twizzlers. What? Loves them. That's trashy. They Daddy, are, I love you. They are all right. The Hershey's. How many? She's eating those every day? Dude, she comes back with a bag of those things. That's what heroin addicts do. <laughs> they need the sugar to keep them up. <laughs> so what's his name called? candy by the pound. Yeah, she 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 fucks with those heavy, wow. and they they look like bears got into it. They're that's ripped open. <laughs> yeah. Uh she does Ritz. She always has that crack those Cracker Barrel cheeses too, that wow. she slices up. Shout out to them. Yeah, those are all right. But she doesn't really wrap them up too well. There's always <laughs> no, that. Not either does Denise. Man, that when, when she, I remember when I was a kid, they get fast and loose with the with the fucking food preserve. When I, poli- when practices. I was a kid and I would see the hard pieces on, on cheese, whew, I would move. It still kind of gets me. Duh, mm-hmm. Couldn't do it. I bought a thing of those pre-sliced, the ones you had the other day, the pre, the boar's head pre-sliced. Because you, you can't get good sliced. You can't get good sliced meat, really, in New York City or cheese in New York City. Del- like, well, I don't have a deli. You don't have a deli? In the one we do, the one we don't. There's no deli yeah. counter. At, not at the one. At I don't consider one it a grocery store if there's no deli counter. That's a, that's a convenience store. You might as well be selling tires or something. They have it pre-sliced. Nah. Like, yeah. they, they do that day or whatever, I guess. Like, it's not like packaged. No, I got you. I got you. I don't fuck with it. Um, But I was using that boar's head stuff, and man, that doesn't reseal that well. So that's just eating. That's just fucking eating whatever's in the fridge is mm-hmm. getting to that. And man, I tried <laughs> to make them. Whatever's in the fridge. <laughs> I tried making a bacon, egg, and cheese. You open up the pickles are at it? With a hard piece, dude. This thing wasn't melting. That's how fucking hard it got. I had the lid on this. I had everything, and nothing was cracking this thing. Yeah, no, nah, I, can't, I, I can't hang with that. Nah, that's rough. Um, All right, let's see here. This one's from Aunt Toadie's Burner account. Never had one right done, dollar shareholder. Is it garbage to have ringtones for different people? My dad has a different ringtone for every one of his four kids. It's crazy. I don't. That's an old. That's an old person thing. Sure. That's a. That's a. Our parents' generation and the, thing. And it's the funeral march for the wife when they call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some. So they got some sort of bit going. Yeah, the Empire song. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, any. I mean, whose phone isn't on silent all the time? Yeah. Parents always. Parents are always always loud. Bam! What is that? is that me? Yeah. Never know who it is. Like, you're the only one in the house with the volume on it. It's you. I caught Patty the other day. She keeps telling me that she she instead of going to church, she watches church. You know, because it has it has like a live feed on Facebook. She had it in her back pocket walking around. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna hit the confession after this. <laughs> Really? Yeah, dude. Watching, sh- I was big from Watch- the pandemic. It's literally in her back pocket, just playing. And she's got the doing- Lord on her shoulder. She's doing stuff she's got around the big house. man looking over. Yeah. Damn. Just get over there, will you? Or just not do it. Uh huh. Does your mom have a tablet? Oh man, <laughs> it, it's never, dude. It's never an iPad. It's always. If uh, they give it to you free at Verizon, and when they you call get it the Kindle. That's a <laughs> give me my Kindle. I'm like, this is, this is fucking Japanese spyware you got here. This thing's bugged. Uh, it's a Kia. Yeah. 
Get me my Kindle. Uh, I was over there looking at the Kindle. She one time asked me, she's like, this thing's not working right. She had it's a microwave, that's she had, I'm not lying, twenty five thousand windows open in that thing. I just sat there for like <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah, I was on yeah. Tinder, just fucking swiping, swiping Killing them out. Dude, crazy. Yeah, they don't always get it. She plays her games on that. She has her game. Oh, she's a candy crush girl. Some shit like that. Something. Yeah. Something something trashy and addicting she can do while Heaterville. Something she can do in Heaterville. Stupid. <laughs> and she gets it now she gets in the car because she's in the back seat now. That would be our mobile game. What? <laughs> Are you garbage presents Heaterville? Heaterville. <laughs> you gotta run around town smoking cigs. <laughs> Uh, Patty's the boss. Oh, go in front of the Sears. <laughs> Light up in the fire zone. At no park in there. Got a ticket. <laughs> Told you to put your flashers on. <laughs> One of the challenges, bumming a light. <laughs> Find somebody outside of church. <laughs> the last a- level, you only have one match. <laughs> one match, and there's three guys smoking. Mm. You got to make it work. Uh, somebody make that game. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. I'll pat- we might have to cut this. <laughs> this might be our game. <laughs> Heaterville. <laughs> Are you garbage resents? Welcome to Heaterville. Dude, come on. <laughs> Big dude, big tobacco will be behind that for sure. Yeah, it's all right. We can get a couple of bucks for this. <laughs> Bubbing a pipe. <laughs> There's a level where you try to quit for a week. <laughs> you just end up getting in fights. <laughs> Telling a homeless guy it's your only one. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I left him inside, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's cl- that's a that's a real New York thing you can do. Now nah, they're in. Sorry, they're inside. Oh yeah. I don't think that flies in the burbs. No one's leaving. You're not really going no, out. If you're out no. front of a bar, you got your heaters on you. You got your heaters on you. Oh, man, that's fucking great. Mm. Uh, why we're on heaters, there was a couple of heater questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one's from Dave. Ever smoke a cig while riding a bike? Mm-hmm. For sure have done that. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's not as good as you think. <laughs> it's like smoking on a boat. There's too much wind. <laughs> The cherry goes into the sea. Smoking on a boat sucks. Um, you think it's going to be cool. It's so not cool. It's not. Plus, you feel like if you throw it anywhere, the whole thing's going to blow up. <laughs> it sucks. You can't even feel it go in. And you can't flick it in the ocean. Yeah. No, no, really? Yeah, dude. With all the tuners and stuff down here, it's going to end up in you anyway. They need cigs too, man. <laughs> Underwater Bernies? Catching a heater after a great white was on I your I mean, you flick, them out the, you flick them out the window. You share a neighborhood with a shark, you're going to want to smoke, dude. <laughs> hey, you got problems. You're running. You're anxious. You got to unwind a little bit with a cool menthol. You flick them out the window. That's the same fucking thing. The ground and the, ground and the ocean are the same thing. I don't think I do flick them out the window. Oh, it's... <laughs> Is this the PR thing you're spinning for the people out there? You think they're going to believe that you don't flick Bernie's out the window? And I'm supposed to sit here and, and lie to the good American people and Canadians? No way. All Big right. man flicks him out the window. Bing. <laughs> now now, now, now bing, you've come bing, full. Bing, bing, you're doing bing, sound bing, effects. Bing, 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 bing. Don't lie to these people, Henry. Bing. This one's another really good one that I've never thought about, and it sucks. This is from Benny B. Cuffs. Ever smoke a heater with gloves on? <laughs> <laughs> you can't feel it. I need the... There's, Sucks. There's no tactical feeling to it. It needs to be 80, degree, 80 degrees below zero for me to put a pair of gloves on. When's the last time you had gloves on? It would have been one of those winners like three or four years ago. Yeah, when we were out really humping around Dude, doing bar shows. And I gloves hate and stuff. wearing gloves. Yeah. Hate it. Uh huh. The worst. You can't. Th- yeah. Need gloves, dude. I remember shoveling my driveway. You got it, in, and then your hands wet from the snow. You can't touch. You say you can't touch the heater. You just got it in the mouth, and you're power puffing it. Good luck trying to work a lighter with that thing. <laughs> oh man, tough, mm. tough noogies. Um. All right, this one's from Doctor Shrimpstick Four Thousand. Got got an MD listening to the show. At what age has it become garbage to still live with your parents? This is more of a theory rather than a yes or no one. I don't know, man. If it was up to me, I'd be, I'd be there right You'd now. You'd be married to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no sex stuff. But yeah. 
<laughs> I wouldn't want to do her or nothing. But yeah, I'd marry her for the benefits. <laughs> she got social security. Tax purposes, dude. Um I don't know, man. That shit all is it, it's so much different than, you know, what we th- No, there's an age. Is there some speed bumps? Is there? I would y- Yeah, man. Is there? Yeah, I would say. Then the pandemic, a lot of people moved home. That's different. I, I know we were we were down there for a couple of months. That's different. We're we kept a- the apartment in New York, obviously, but we were down there. <laughs> oh, man, I would say the rules have changed on that a little bit in recent years. A little bit. You can a get, little bit. You can go to nineteen now. Look at it. No, hold on. Look at it this way. I, but, listen. I'll, let me run one scenario. Okay. One run scenario. Run one scenario. You graduate high school, you go to college. That you're out of the house, you stay at the summer or whatever, you come back for That's the summer. That's where you're messing up right there. What are you doing I going know, to college? I wouldn't recommend anybody go to college. Start a podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Dive into a real thin market like podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. Uh, so college, you get that. You go back in the summers. That's fine. Whatever, whatever. And I would also give you a year after college. So let's say you graduated 21, maybe. To what? Get an apartment? To get a job, get on your feet. I would say no later than 24. Think about it. Even if you didn't go to college and you entered the workforce, obviously you're not fucking killing it right away. But you get a decent job, maybe get in a union or whatever. You can get out early 20s. Before 25, you can be out of your house. Okay, I agree with you on that. You're right. You should do all that stuff. You should go to college. After college, you should get an apartment with room. It depends on what kind of. I mean, you might or have join a, a trade union. You might have a banging job. I don't know. You get your own place. But what I'm saying is, move back. You you want it, You want to be out there to see how bad it sucks. Then you move back in. I had a couple runs no? where I went back. I yeah. went. I went back. How good is it when you? I went, went back, back after college. Then I got a townhouse with my buddy. Thought you were a real smart guy, huh? That crashed and burned, moved back to my house, moved back to my mom's. Then we got that place in Philly, Uh on Titan Street. Right. You never went back after that. Yeah. You did? For a couple of months before I came to New York. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I moved back. I would After college, never. after a townhouse. Here, here's after, the thing. Here's the thing. Hit my balls busted while I'm eating eggs. Oh, no it fucking shot. Suck, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it's every, part of it. Dude, dinner. Dinner was But how good World are those War eggs? Three. How good are those eggs, Toby? Not good enough, dude. <laughs> and here's a different situation. You, your parents have a condo or whatever. If your parents own their house or whatever, that's just going to go up. That's You're thinking of the family, the family line. You're going to want that piece of real estate for future generations. That's different than Someone's got to watch moving the Moving home because you're a dirtbag at 30 is different than keeping the family property in your name. Well, that's what you're doing. You're keeping an eye on things. <laughs> keeping, a, keeping an eye on my investment. <laughs> Making sure there's Putting no- cyanide <laughs> in my mom's oatmeal. <laughs> Making sure there's no loose spending going on. <laughs> <laughs> You got him switching a name to fucking off off brand cereal. And yeah, shit. I don't know, man. Um, I I have some buddies who still live at home. Really proper, never even never even packed a bag to move out. No shit. Uh huh. Really? Yeah. Damn. Uh-huh. They got their own hookup though. They got the basement or something like that, right? I'm not sure what's going on. To be honest with you, I mean it's no longer you. You don't go hang if your buddy still lives at home. You don't go to his house to hang out. You know what I mean? You're bringing chicks back. <laughs> Corvette poster, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Shh, my ma's sleeping. Hey, you don't go hang out at that house anymore. Nah, that would be tough. Yeah. You know what I mean? That so I haven't been tiptoeing upstairs. I haven't been there probably since like a year or two after college or whatever. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're right. Um. All right. What's proper age? I would say 25 with one safety net. If you move out, it's not for you. You can come back maybe at 27, get your feet on the ground. If maybe you they- have, to, a lot of people don't have that luxury, obviously. What? what? They, you know, they, they get jammed up and they got, they got to find a spot and that's it, okay. which is probably better for them mentally moving forward. Mature-wise, because they have a gun to their head, they don't have that safety sure. net. I mean, I know I failed because I had a safety I'm like, I'll just fucking move home. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm all fucked up. <laughs> um, I want to live there now. I, I would, would say m- 25, you should be out on your own. 
And then obviously, like, you know, I think my brother, I was just talking to my brother about this. He had to fucking, uh, he had to move back home for a brief time because they sold his building that he was living in. Like, he was living in, a, like, an apartment that somebody owned, and then they sold it. And they were like, you got to go. Like, well, you either buy it or you have to go. And he had to move home in, like, 30 days. And he, he had moved back home until he found out, until he was able to find a place to buy. How do I get back into patties? What can I say? The building, it's something the building, hey, the building's getting sold. Well, she's not going to fact check you. No? Yeah, she's not. She'll welcome you with open arms. Mm -hmm. Take the trash out, unload the dishwasher, take the dog for a walk. Mm-hmm. That'd be all right. Oh, I'd walk in the door. My mom be like, I knew it wasn't going to work. <laughs> really? <laughs> I knew that Kevin was an idiot. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to work. You loser. Mm -hmm. Hey, as long as a meatloaf's hot, who gives a shit? I'll take the beating. This show, when this show was happening before it took like before. That's why I they got headphones, Toby. Put your headphones on. Have your eggies. My mom Scramby. was contem like was like. I think there was like meetings happening with siblings and other people to have like some sort of intervention to get me back. I was like, you tried. You gave it your shot. Time to come on home. Get back to Sucks County. Tried to get you to the church. <laughs> Father Ryan. Uh, I wouldn't mind it. You wouldn't? It's probably low overhead. You know what I mean? They take care of you. Sure, they do. They cover your court cases. Plus, all the old broads fall all over you. And uh -huh. you get the booze on the job. You get the booze on the job. A mm -hmm. couple of fucking nips. I've seen some priests uh, on at Sunday mass fucking go heavy bike on the wine. Like they're doing like sh like jugs of it. Yeah. And then go back for a second one to wash down the wafer. <laughs> like you're just drinking. Got a helmet on, beer helmet on. You ever have that stuff? Uh, I don't think I ever had the wine. Uh, I don't like communal cups, if it, I'm being honest with you. I ain't sharing a cup. Even with when it. it's gold? I ain't sharing a cup with the fucking old weirdos in my town. Not happening. No. <laughs> I don't even like shaking everybody's hand during the peace be with you part. It's just a whole congregation covered in cold sores. Yeah. <laughs> fuck out of here. Uh, I've had that wine, man. It is, uh, it is not premium. I'll tell you that. No. It ain't Stag's Leap, I can tell you that much. It's cooking wine. Oh, it sucks. Uh, it's all designed right. to get you all fucked up and do dumb shit. Let's see. This one's from <laughs> Coach Willie. Uh, if you bring something to the dry cleaner, how long does it take to pick it up? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, I still got uniforms down there at Sparkle Cleaners. It's either I get it right away. I'm on top of it, and I pick. Like, I'll even see if it's done early, if I'm, like, if I'm checked in. But, man, I'll leave. A, I mean, there's winter coats I got sitting somewhere. What do you think the dry cleaning business is like these days? Are dudes still doing that? Like, you have friends. I have friends that wear that wear suits to <laughs> that work. That sounds like two guys who don't have friends. You have <laughs> friends. I got friends. <laughs> I just told you my buddy's living at home. He's not getting dry cleaning done. <laughs> but, no, we, we you know, we, we know people that, uh, sure. that, have, that have, you know, jobs. Yeah. That, you know, get up and go to work every day and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Quit bragging. <laughs> <laughs> my brother works. He doesn't got to wear a suit anymore, though. Well, I think so. This is this is my my take on it. Right. Uh -huh. uh, he probably he, I did work in corporate America. Or, you know, I did work in New York City office buildings. Yeah, for a long I know time. for a fact that my brother, he, I mean, he's a sharp guy. So he's got clothes that need dry cleaning. On the regular basis. Sure. On the weekends, he he usually dresses nicer on the weekends than I've ever dressed in my life. Mm -hmm. Like if they're going here, going there. Sure. Yeah. Nice pair of slacks. Nice pair of slacks. Cool, cool shirt. Fuck, yeah. Watch. Maybe like not a blazer, but not a, like a, a jacket. I've seen him wear button downs on Saturday and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yes, those dudes do that. I'm sometime. naked. <laughs> what are you talking about? You see my shorts? <laughs> I can't get out of my underwear. Um... I think uh, two things. One, I think there's probably less dry cleaning because things are more casual yeah. than they used to be, right? Like workplaces are, are more casual for the most part. But there's still probably dudes in New York City that and ladies in New York City that they got to show up in business attire. Sure. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also think the technology has changed, so those shirts, uh, the fabrics have changed, so the shirts you don't have to dry clean. You can get through with washing them and then just like ironing them or whatever. You know, my you uncle Mike. It doesn't have to be so dry clean. I mean, my dad too, because my dad had to wear like he wore his fucking navy uniform every day to work. Uh huh. Like every day, he had to roll in there fucking 
top and tails, fucking sharp as yeah. shit. Yeah. They, I wonder what my mom was w- w- was dropping on dry cleaning. I know she had some kind of deal. I think it was way cheaper. But I remember they'd be like a dollar a shirt and stuff really? like that. Way back in the day, it was real. You'd see signs like ninety nine cents for shirts or whatever. But the next day, I remember having to go to the dry cleaners if like you know something happened or you got to go pick up your uncle Mike's stuff at the dry cleaners like once or twice. They needed, needed it. They needed it. Something. And they're handing me like what 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 what, what, did, what did you own a Macy's mm-hmm. like just fucking. 50 shirts. I remember dudes would have the rack. They would have like a like a bar across their thing. And they would hang it. That's how much shit was getting dry cleaned back in the Crazy. day. Crazy. If you were wearing like the figure, if you wore, you'd need three suits a week, four suits a week maybe, five shirts, pants, the ties, the whole night. My Uncle Mike on the shirts, extra starch. Ooh. Dude, it was like bulletproof. Um, That's a lot. Oof. Uh, this one's from Cameron. Hey, gang. Never had one read. Is it garbage if you use your deceased grandmother's handicap placard until it expires? I had to straighten Patty out with that, too. I don't. Listen, I think you get a grace period where you can use plausible deniability. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, whatever, whatever. Nah, it's a dirtbag That's move. A, it's, it ain't a great move. No. It ain't a great move. I remember I had a friend in high school who had one because he, like, sold used cars or something. Because he, cause he flogged social studies. <laughs> he wore a helmet. He had, uh, he had to wear... Uh, he had one because he, like, sold used cars, and there was one... What? We would. He would try to use it, and I'd be like, dude... Wait, why would you get a handicap thing for selling used no, cars? No, like, he got a used car, and it was in there or something. Like, he came across it in his used car business. Like yeah. I said, a dealer place. <laughs> Uh, and he, I remember we pulled up to like Wawa. I'm like, dude. I'm a fat piece of shit. Five it ain't drunk that kids far. can't hop out of a fucking, yeah. you know, an Aldi or whatever. Yeah, no, that's not cool. That's a tough look. Yeah, my, it's not cool. My mom had one because of her MS. And that is the, I mean, that is the Disneyland fast pass to earth, bro. Sure. Yeah. Woo, zip up, zip Right in. by the door. Yeah. That's We're like sh- the, that's like the fire lane, dude. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pulling up at checkout. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Straighten me out here. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't agree with it. I will. Depends on if you're an older person. Me, you're a young kid. You gotta, you gotta give it up. But like your mom is an older broad. No, what do you? She kicked the shit out of both of us. She's got it from my dad. Want to fucking try it, Patty? Let me know. She's got it on the plates, too. That's a little different. Well, no, yeah. I'll give you that because well, we were going to change it. I mean, you know, we go to DMV. What are we doing here? <laughs> I know you know the- what I mean? What, are you going to wait in line for? You're going to ruin a Friday? Patty's getting out of the car limping. <laughs> <laughs> you got a neck brace on. I know the kids get embarrassed by it when she's got to pick them up and shit. Mm-hmm. She'll fucking pull right up. And I'll be like, Excuse what are you me. Th- <laughs> yeah, she gets <laughs> She's elbowing people out of the way. She's going to get her tire slashed by a wheelchair guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you she can't get, do that. You're going to get beat up at Acme, dude. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, <laughs> you got to get rid of that shit. Uh, all right, this one's from Paul K. Ted- you know he used to do that all the time. God what? rest his soul. Cotton. Oh, Cotton had a handicap. Cotton had a handicap. Dude, yeah, dude, because of his mom. Who uh-huh. hadn't been in the car in probably 15 years. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. he used the shit out of that. Uh-huh. Woo-wee. Yeah. That's <laughs> well, in the city, it can help you if you're in a pinch. If you're running into the Wawa or something. Because they have the parking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have that in New York, I don't think. Handicap? No. Well, I think in Philly. That's a real cutthroat now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Tough break wheels. <laughs> hey, uh, if you can't make it here, you can't make it anywhere. Yeah, there is none. In Philly, at least. Yeah, Philly takes a lot of shit, but they have handicap parking zones. Well, I think it was for if you were handicapped, you could get it on your block. Like I, when I lived in uh, North Philly, the guy across from me had it right in front of his house. Like I think like you apply to be like, I need one. That somebody steals it. Oh man, he always fucking. You're hand- going to war all the time. What? It's a, steal your handicap yeah, spot? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, People are animals. This one's from Paul K. Have you or anyone you ever? Have you or anyone you know ever worked at a highway rest stop, restaurant, or state visitor center? Think about it all the time. What? How do they? What do they do? We've talked about it, or we've we've. I don't know if we've ever talked about it on air. Clock it in next to a welcome to Georgia sign. Mm-hmm. It is. I think. How do they get to work? Do they pay the toll every day? Where do these people live? Like when you pull, they, pro- they got to have a pass, like a worker's pass, right? 
to go like, hey, look, I'm I'm on a job here. I just think to my flashing your badge. I just think to myself, why would you get on the turnpike to work at fucking Roy Rogers? There's all I can get. There's other spots, Uh, you know, out there. I don't know. Man, do they do they might pay with the a cologne bit? guy? Maybe they they might they might you might get a little cut, two three extra don't. dollars an hour or something like that. Wet your beak at the end of the week. Mm-hmm. Plus, Cup. it's probably steady work. They're open, long, you know what I mean? Sure. Not a lot of people want to do it. Probably. Sure. You get, it, it gets more. it gets filed under travel expenses. Okay. So it's not a, you still have to pay. It's only deductible. It, is is there any perk? Fuck to, that. Is there any perk to working at that location? Wait, what? They're paying up front? Yeah. That's crazy. I would sneak across, park in the neighborhood, and cut across. <laughs> Running across fucking eight lanes of traffic. Cut, cut across the retention pond. I got to clock in in three <laughs> minutes out of my way. Really? Huh. There ha- see if there's any perk to working like, at do a. Do they pay more? You know what I mean? Is at, a, there's- at a rest stop. It's got to be. Some, maybe it's a government job. It's not a go- Roy Rogers isn't a government job. But if it's in the thing, no, I think the taking care of those things are a state job. That's a good job. Yeah. That's good Benny's right there. I'm sure. Be all right. It's a government job. Rest rest area attendant, not ah. attendant. Yeah, the attendant is not the guy working at the fucking Pizza Hut slash KFC. Yeah, the Benny's <laughs> that you're right next to with monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so they. I assume they all play ball together, right? It's like a mall. Did you, ever, did you ever see the economies of a mall? It's crazy. Really? Dude, my buddy was Get working. Get the hookup. My buddy was working at a mall in Foot Locker in Oxford Valley Mall in high school. And I mean, they trade sh- Foot Locker, trade Prep shoes. Prep this. Oh, well, the, the food, yeah, is typically on, the, you know, either cheap or very on the cuff. Wow. But then it's like the Jersey guys are trading shoes for jer- Like, hey, I want this. Kobe jersey. It's like sure. give me a pair of fucking whatevers. The hack guys are all all they're all in on it. They're all just fucking hmm. moving units, trading. That's pretty good. It's a guy trading nineteen hats for a massage chair. <laughs> That's a good deal. <laughs> you kidding me? I told I my buddy used to run the two for. I'd be uh, over there in Brookstone or whatever it's called. The two for ninety deal or something. You come in, you pick any two pair of shoes. Yeah, you you was robbing me, the place. Yeah, that's what we were doing. That's what he was, he was doing. I never partake. The theory was you would walk in, allegedly, uh-huh. hand him 90 bucks or 80 bucks, whatever the 70 bucks. Take seven pairs of shoes. And he would hand you two pairs of shoes. That's the deal, though, right? Yeah, but then he would put the 70 in his pocket. Oh, it wasn't a, it wasn't an authorized Foot Locker promotion. <laughs> that's a crazy movie oh, wait, script. I, you're hold on. I thought it was. So you're telling me there was no deal? That was his that deal. That was his deal. <laughs> In the movie that Kippy's writing. Yes. He was his own marketing guy. That guy's guy. a goddamn businessman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait, Foot Locker, so Foot Locker wasn't doing a two for 90. No. That was his move. Yeah. He was doing a sale on stealing. Allegedly. Allegedly, he would do that. Yeah, it's all right. Um, but you weren't allowed to use Jordans or... Tim's because they had their own inventory system. They were high end products. Walking around with ASICs like a dickhead. <laughs> I'm in the Monarchs, the Air Mon- <laughs> Uh Yeah, that never happened. What are you talking about? Bleep well, what all do you that think out the feds me. are going to come get you for your sneakers? I don't. I, why would they come get me? <laughs> I wasn't there. I had never even been to the Oxer Valley Mall. I'm going to testify I mean against the you. the Chamonix Mall. Franklin Mills. What if I pulled out a badge right now? It was all a setup. That's a hand. You pull out a handicap placard. (laughs) (laughs) Been working you for 15 years. Uh, Get my hands on you. Two for 90. That's a fucking sweet deal. All right. Let's see. This one's Blake. Uh, Is it garbage? Use a water bottle in the cup holder of your car to simulate a stick shift. Good old fashioned fun. If you ask me. It's so funny. I just did. I do it all. I've been doing it since high school. I, just, I, even, I even make dirt bike noises when I do it. I Because I have to have my hand on something. Mm-hmm. And I usually keep it on the shifter. Sure. Like on the automatic shifter. Uh-huh. But I had a uh, I had a glass bottle in there. Boylan's Diet Cherry. Okay. Ooh, that'll blow your hair back. Okay. And I, I just left it in there. And driving home on Sunday, because I was out in the burbs, um, I was doing it the whole way. Just yeah, having fun. it there. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. Yeah, I feel like Jason Bourne or whatever. Yeah. 
I do a lot of dumb shit like that. Like I'll you don't say. I'll put like sometimes I'll, like, when I have my hands on the wheel, I pretend like I have guns in the front, and I'll flip the safety up and then <laughs> do that. If we were to race, maybe this is why you're a bad driver. <laughs> If we were You're to playing fucking cops and robbers the whole playing time. Playing spy hunter the whole way. If we were to race in a manual in manual transmission cars, do you think that that would be a big enough equalizer for me to be competitive? If you want an automatic? No, 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 no. I, everyone gets a manual. I uh, no. I mean, I think we would both smoke you. Yeah. Can you guys drive sick? 100%. I mean, can you can't drive a regular car. So we at least have the advantage of yeah, knowing Yeah, why how, would you think Even if you learned how the stick shift works? I got it. Hey, clutch, if clutch we made some you still have to then drive the car that you don't know if how to. If we made do. the thing that I can't do harder, do you <laughs> yeah, think what are you I would talking win? About? Our set of skills. You have delusions of grandeur when it comes to that. You couldn't beat me Whoa. in a swim race. What, Delusions of Grandeur? Yeah. That's from Star Wars. Okay. All right. Never mind. I thought you were smart for a second. <laughs> That's from the imaginary world I love. Now back to me shooting missiles off my car. That's from Jedi. The Tatooine scene um, when they sprung Han Solo. Hey, Nerdler, zip it. All right? I got the first reference. I, I don't need the page number. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so they sprung Han Solo. All right, from Jabba shut the up. Then they faced a pit of sarlacc. I'm looking at a pit of sarlacc. <laughs> Same digestive system. A thousand years. You believe that? Shut up. I, I can't anymore. <laughs> it's the pit the Bubba Fett fell in. All right. But then eventually got out. Uh-huh. It slowly digests you over a thousand years. I, Might wish, be I, 10, I wish I was in it right now. <laughs> <laughs> he got one of those. Is there one of those in New York? <laughs> yeah, you got handicap parking. Pull right up. Now, what are you saying? <laughs> I, I was just I was saying that I, I didn't know that you could drive sick. I thought not neither of you could. Like the wind. I'm I haven't done it in years and I wasn't good. But that would be like, hey Toby, let's use an editing software you don't know how to use and see if I'm better than you on that software because you don't know how to use it. I'd fuck you up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> even if you mastered the Not on the track, pussy. Even if you mastered the stick shift. You then don't know how to drive the car. I got you. I was just saying would, if it would be enough of a skill gap to the shifting. You, that it would you have never been in the driver's seat of, of a manual transmission, I would assume. Have you ever driven a car? Yeah. Huh. Which we said we were going to do. We were going to teach, teach Toby, Toby how, how to, to drive. drive. Hey, shining. Pit of sarlacc. <laughs> <laughs> you can't watch it. <laughs> We said we were going to teach you how to drive. drive. The second you got in there and tried to, you would it would stall. No, I think I I think I could do it. I guarantee. I'll bet every dollar that I have, which is seven thousand (laughs) dollars. Damn, you've been saving. (laughs) Well, three thousand after the rent gets taken (laughs) out, but that hasn't hit yet. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> it's okay. That still hasn't hit. You got to start poking around on that. They're gonna whack you with a couple. Hey, of I, I I did the app. I'm done. I washed my hands of it. That you, the second that you got in the car and tried to put it in the gear, the car would stall. I no, I absolutely could put it in the gear. I've driven a motorcycle and shit, dude. I know how shifting works. What do you think? I think he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> Yeah, dude, you would stall out the second yeah. that you did. There's no way that you would you would move forward. I mean, I would what argue. What are you talking about? Break in, <laughs> clutch in, shift into first. The fucking yeah, but it's not just ease, a, it's ease, not just ease, ease off the clutch, ease on the gas. Come All right, on. so you do know about it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I would also argue. Not this isn't a shot to you. Just that you haven't done as long. You would probably stall immediately too until no. you got back the hang of it. No, you haven't driven it in how long? It I'm would, not saying I'm it not, would be I, rocky. I wouldn't stall. Okay. All right. You know what? For the sake of growth, yes, I would stall. That, How about that, that is a possibility that you could stall. You haven't driven an automobile. You haven't driven. A I agree car that the, I, I agree twenty years. that that could possibly happen. Thank you. All right, I'm not a know it all like so and so over here. Yeah. Whoa! What is happening here? Growth. This pit of sarlacc. Uh, that's <laughs> it's really <laughs> getting everybody. <laughs> down is up. Up is down. Yeah. Toby's driving. You're admitting. Something. How I'm not do we, sure what happened. I don't know what just happened. 
We should teach you how to drive, though. Sure. Not in my car, but. I'm down. The Kia. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's a piece of shit. That's what that means. I got a goddamn lease going here. <laughs> what? I have a lease, too. Yeah, but it's like the South Korean car. Come on. Sure. It's coming for the guy spending all of his money. <laughs> Hey, I made eight bucks. Let's increase all my expenses. Spend nine. You make eight, you spend nine. That's how you do it. Uh huh. Um, all right, let's see here. Um, this is from William Ferguson. Is it garbage to brush your teeth and pee at the same time? That's no. a task I was never able to. I, it's too much movement. I'm missing. Oh, I'm all over the place. I'm missing now. It's that for it's. Can you do it? Can you do the, the tap yeah, and the yeah, rub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to start the one first. <laughs> I don't think I could do the other side, though, so I don't think I could. Hey, Sam A. Throstein, <laughs> knock it off, will you? You're one step below <laughs> juggling. Get out of here with that. <laughs> what are you doing? Is this your card? I can't pee. I can, but it's a mess. If I, pee, It's too much lateral. I don't know what's happening. I get all, I, get, I, get I all, pee I get everywhere. All, I get all loopy-eyed. That bathroom. I know. I share bathrooms with you. Mm -hmm. It's like a large amount. You should just stand over. Why don't you start sitting? No, don't. I, I told you what I tried to start doing, and you shunned me for it. You're peeing in the tub. Yeah. No. No. That's, the, that's a step in the wrong direction. Sure. Um, Work on my aim. <laughs> there you go. Um, Kid's a dead eye. Bing. <laughs> bing I bing, can't do it. Yeah, I can't do that. To the point where I go, I just, it's too much concentration. I just go, I'll just figure, I'll just, whatever, you know. I do enjoy brushing my teeth and walking around, though. I, I, this is my theory. I think there's two, there's two kind of brains where I have to do that. I have to walk around. I walk out, I walk into the bedroom, then I walk out the hallway, into the living room. I walk out, I look out the windows, I walk out. I, I feel like I'm on a TV show. I don't know why. I feel like Alex P. Keaton mm -hmm. from Family Ties. Okay. Michael J. Fox. Okay. I feel like that would have been his move, walk around. Yeah, I feel like my brain, I don't know, I need to be distracted or something while I'm doing it. It's something weird. To fill the time, because you got to do it for like 30 seconds. That's what they say. You're supposed it's to brush. two minutes, isn't it? Two minutes? Yeah, brushing your teeth. T-Bone, get a two minutes. Get an ADA recommendation. That's how long I shower for. I think it's for. 30, 30, 30, 30. I think it's 30 a quadrant, if I remember correctly. What? Get the fuck out of two here. Two minutes, two times a day. Two minutes? Yeah, it's 30 a quadrant. Two minutes? You're missing teeth. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm missing <laughs> teeth. Be out of there. Be out of there quick. <laughs> I'm missing three teeth, so you take off 15 <laughs> seconds for that. <laughs> Throw in a piece of trident and call it a day. <laughs> you know what I did start doing? What's that? And I'm telling you right now, poop it in the fridge. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to change your day up tomorrow morning when you wake up, gang, go into the bathroom mm -hmm. before you brush your teeth. Use the mouthwash. Mouthwash then brush. You, it feels fantastic. Is that what they say you're supposed to do? I y think. Yeah, because the the fluoride stays on your teeth. The mouthwash washes the fluoride away. Yeah. Did I see that on an Instagram? Some, someone wanted, said that in here. Yeah, we might have just recently talked about that. Okay. Joe Coy or somebody was a big teeth guy, I think. Something like that. Mm. Um, it's well, great. We do a lot of recording. It's great. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I've ever done that. Hmm. It really freshens it up. I did it this morning with Scope. Love Scope. Listerine, kick rocks. Well, Scope's like a drink. It's delicious. Um... All right, let's see here. This one, AYG's long lost fourth member. Whoa. Okay. Have you ever bought a product? We are hiring. Have you ever bought a product? We are not. We are not hiring. <laughs> Send <laughs> your applications in. <laughs> Trying to trim some of the fat as it is. What? That wasn't I've been doing a, pretty good. That wasn't a you joke. That was a Toby joke. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Love you, buddy. Um, Get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> Can him now. <laughs> Toby, leave this in. <laughs> uh, leave the S shoes and get out. No, it's new guy. Luke. Do you think new guy Luke still <coughs> listens to the show? I think he. I think he pretends. He's probably not going to hear this. This will be a test, pussy. New guy Luke, let me know if you hear this. We're what fifty-five minutes into the episode? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, pushing an hour. Yeah. Oh, new guy Luke. 
If you don't report back, I'm getting the scissors out. Cut you. Cut him. <laughs> I run a tight ship. Luke, the code word is Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going. That'll come up too much. The code word is Annapolis. That's what I meant to say. Tube of Sarnak. Tube of Sarnak? Idiot. What is it? It's the pit of Sarnak. Oh, okay. Sarlacc. Hey, you got me fucking up. <laughs> Chocolate Chicks service. service. What are you doing? Um, have you? All right. AYG's long lost fourth member. Have you ever bought a product at a grocery store not in the original aisle, i.e. cookies in the toilet paper aisle? No. I couldn't do it. I it, get yelled at for that, It would feel too tampered. Too. To pick something up that's not there, that someone else left. That's weird to me. Of co- Well, that would never happen, but I also... I've always gotten yelled at that I had to put it back. You should. You should. Always. As a guy. My mom did that. My dad did that. And the bird does that. She's like, someone stocks those shelves. Not that I want it. I mean, obviously, I'm in. I go, I go back and put it back. I get every now and then you leave it, you leave it. As a guy who used to have to block the shelves. Mm-hmm. That's what they call it in a biz when you pull everything. That I'm All on. right. I was a hell of a blocker. Um. It can't, yeah, it's a, you, you find a fucking half honey baked. I thought in the they back have to throw it out. What? Like, like it's like meat or something, probably. Yeah. yeah. And they, I mean, if it was me, I'd probably just take a temperature <laughs> on it, and if it was still cool, I'd throw it back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shrimp will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, I always thought if, if anything you you were. I mean, like a like a if toilet paper was in the cookie roll. The cookie aisle? If somebody left, for some reason, I can visually see a red bag of Chips Ahoy cookies. In your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> in, like, the toilet paper aisle. I thought you would have to throw that out because that could have been tampered with. More than likely, it was. No, more than likely, it wasn't. If somebody was going to tamper with it, mm-hmm. I mean, if it's closed, yeah, it just goes back on the shelf. Really? Yeah, what do you think? I mean, if it's closed, what do you think somebody could have done to it? I don't know. Stuck a needle in it or something? Squirted something in it? I thought anything well, that if, if they were going to poison it, wouldn't they put it back where it was to get? That's what they'd want you to think. What? That's what they'd want you to think. But then if they put it there, oh, this might be something. something. Then, it, then that would be a, everybody operates under the understanding that if it's there, it gets thrown out. Right. Huh. You know what I mean? I you guess would want to so. you would want it to look like a regular product so it could be purchased. That's what we'd want you to. That's what I, the person would want you to think if they were poisoning it. I don't know. I don't trust it. Okay. All right, fair enough. Clearly, we've, we've. Yeah, I wouldn't go near it. Okay. Never. Yeah. No. It just if it was in someone else's cart and I know that it's theirs. I want a fresh one. That's yeah. It's never been. Tough. You always take the. You don't take the the top of the thing. No. It's always two back. Milk, especially. Never. You know what I'm big on? Coffee lids. I go to the middle. Cof- oh, middle yeah. Of the stack on, a, on coffee. Lids. Straws, too. I don't fuck with straws, but sure. I like turtles just as much as the next guy. I throw out four straws before I get to the one that I'm using. <laughs> I don't go near the first straw yeah. or the first napkin Mm-mm. or the first pump of anything. Like the ketchup things. I'll throw one of those out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want something from the middle. Yeah. That's something non-touched. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. like it. Would you guys ever buy anything off the clearance shelf that's in the grocery store that's usually by, like, where you go into the back and towards the stock room? Where the fuck are you shopping? There's no clearance shelf at the grocery store. Do you remember? It's in, it's in very... At, like, a clothing store. Fuck yeah. That's the best. Find a sweater for $6? There's a clearance shelf in every grocery store. It's no. It's always towards the back. There, used, there is a lot of times. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the beginning of this... <laughs> it's always jarred gravy for some reason. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to it. Good Heinz jarred gravy. Ooh. Do you remember? My dad used to jazz that up real nice. You remember when this first when a lot we of pepper. first started AYG? It was the pandemic. I was, I was down there. We were Skyping. We were doing hard feelings every day for the public. The, the, the 94 pack of chicken legs that you yeah, got. That was, was in the clearance aisle? Yeah. I was, <laughs> what the fuck? I was getting buy one, get three. There's free. easier ways to kill yourself, dude. <laughs> Buy one, get three free packs of chicken, dude. <laughs> they were moving units. Fucking Wuhan sale over here. Get out of here. Dude, I remember my mom came down. She was like, why is, where's all this chicken from? I'm like, well, 
I couldn't leave it. It was freebies. Bad economic decisions, man. <laughs> That's when I pounce. <laughs> <laughs> Acme. <laughs> he bought that in a bunch of real estate. Acme overshot the demand. That's their fault. This is where I strike. <laughs> I don't know if that's clearance. It was in the meat clearance section. I'm telling There's you. There's no meat. That's manager Go. special. That's different. It said clear. That's VIP as far <laughs> as I was concerned. That was what in the special. Yeah, Patty no. used to always go manager special. Yeah. We would always get that's that. Got about two, that's got to get on a grill in two hours. Manager special does. It would go right in the freezer, man. Nah, Wildwood Woo. Acme. Shout out to the Wildwood Acme down there on like 20, 25th Street or whatever in Delaware. They have a clearance section for the meat. I'm wow. telling you. Check yeah. it out. Tell them Kippy sent you. Patty, <laughs> Patty, I didn't know it was a clearance section. Patty was definitely in that manager special. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah. Questionable chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to wrap it up. My dad wouldn't touch it. <laughs> Gang, we love you to death. We're on the road. Tickets are moving pretty goddamn quick. I ain't going to lie to you. Sure. Do yourself a favor. Come out and see us. It's a good time. We yeah. love you to death, and we will see you. Uh, next week, we are in Magoobies. Very limited tickets left there. Magoobies in Timonium slash Baltimore, yeah. Delaware. Then we got Virginia Beach and Richmond, Virginia all next week, 14, 15, 16 of March. Get those tickies, baby. Plenty of tickets there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, we had a, a manager special. Everything must go. <laughs> we overshot the demand in the funny bones. See you next week. Peace.